Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Oh my god, you guys <laughs> Hi babes I Oh this is kind of crazy. I haven't picked up the camera and vlogged in weeks. Um, I've vlogged bits here and there, but I haven't like sat down and talked to the camera in a while besides some of the content that I've been working on. But I'm excited to be back. Um, it's going to be different. A lot of things have changed over the past like month, month and a half. Um, as you guys know, I like started lashing. I mean, if you want to know a little bit of what's been going on, make sure to watch the vlog that I posted on healing my inner child, because that's kind of where it started. And first off, I'm just doing so amazing, like mentally, physically, spiritually, everything I feel like has just been doing really well. Um, I think partially because I've been on my meds, I've been taking them every day, I've been taking them consistently very good, it's been keeping me very stable mentally, but also the changes I've been able to make in my life and the mindset things that I've been working on kind of off camera, like the inner healing and inner work that I've been doing, um, I just feel so light, I feel so truly genuinely happy. Um, feeling grateful every single day and like genuinely like feeling the gratefulness and not just saying it because I want to be positive but because I actually feel it and I know that I've been like randomly just kind of stopped posting and then now I'm like trying to get back into the consistency which I think will definitely happen I just need to like give myself some space and time to get it done um, I've been like lashing and that's been really good for me to be able to connect with people and it's just been giving me a lot of peace like it's been very peaceful for me to work on lashing and I have a lot of fun doing it it's definitely something that is going to be extended into more I mean as these as I come back to you guys and come back to vlogging I will definitely update you on everything you can probably tell my apartment already looks different because I've already changed some things around. I was watching the Kardashians. Um, but there's so much that's been going on and I'm excited to be back and bring you guys along on my journey again. And I don't know how it's going to go from now on. I think my content might change a little bit. I think I definitely want to focus more on quality over quantity. I don't necessarily want to like be pushing out multiple videos a week anymore. Also because it was really, really draining me and just gave me burnout. Like I just don't want to do that. Um, for right now, let's just focus on one video a week. I really want to make sure that the vlogs that I post are going to be fun for you guys so that you at least have like something fun to look forward to for the week and i'll also have other content um i'm working with some brands i've already had a video go up um, with a skincare brand and i'm working with a clothing brand on another video as well which is just fun for me to be able to like be creative and like work with a brand that i like um and receiving like clothes that i can like style like i love doing that so it's like just i can put my creativity into it which is really fun honestly ever since I started YouTube you guys have just been on a journey with me and like no matter when you start watching me whether that was in 2018 2017 or last year or during COVID um I feel like every year I'm going through something and like if you watch me from the start to now like I'm so obviously I've grown up and I've gone through a bunch of shit but I think it is kind of like cool to be able to share my life with you guys even though the past few weeks i loved not being on camera like i have to say i was really enjoying living in the moment i also know that i have a you know a privilege and an audience and all of this like i'm not just gonna let this go to waste like i know that i can still use my voice for a lot of good things and so i'm not gonna get off the internet but i just need to 
like create a healthy balance for myself and live life for me and not for my vlogs i feel like recently i kind of started living my life how i wanted my content to look but then that wasn't really making me happy at all like i haven't been to the gym in months and i was like not that i don't like going to the gym but i, I was almost kind of forcing myself because there was like a specific image that i wanted to portray but like it wasn't really bringing me any joy and now that i've just been doing things for me like i just feel so much more peace i feel really happy and yeah even though i wasn't even ready to start the vlog i was like let me just pick up the camera because i've just been finding it hard to like start but as soon as i get that one intro in like i feel like i can get back into it my hair is dirty i'm gonna dye my hair today i'm gonna do a little like at home glow up i'm gonna dye it black i'm gonna dye my extensions black i'm gonna wax my armpits because they're so fucking hairy <laughs> and i also need to do my nails i basically filed off like the top layer and then never finished them so they've just been looking super rough my cuticles are so dry like i need to do my nails so that's also something i'm doing today like i didn't leave nothing has changed i will also give you guys a little apartment update um i don't know if it's gonna be in this vlog maybe in the next one but i moved some things around again so i'm gonna have to update you but there's a little sneak peek It's 9.30, um, it's another work from home day, which I let myself have a nice like chill morning because whenever I go to the salon, I'm like, I have to get everything done fast because obviously I have clients and I need to be there on time. But today I am on my own time. So chill out in the sun for a little bit and now I'm gonna fix my hair. So yesterday I dyed it. I ended up dyeing my extensions and I literally just now <laughs> found out that I forgot one of my extensions in my hair drawer and so that one isn't dyed. <laughs> also, I let the dye sit on for a little bit too long and fright them a little bit. So they're going to be a little bit more damaged, but I'm okay with that. So this is the one that I forgot to dye and this is the one that I dyed. You can see the difference in the color. Um, and then I dyed my own hair jet black. I did get some dye like on my skin. But I put on Vaseline, but I should have put it like everywhere because I was honestly really messy with it. Um, and I got like dye on like my fucking kitchen and shit. Like honestly, I was so messy about it and I don't know why. Like, it was so stupid, but whatever. Hopefully my mom can fix it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just going to clip this one in somewhere so that it doesn't really show, but i'm not going to talk through the process i'm just going to explain to you what i'm going to do before i start so i'm going to get my steam pot and it's pretty clean but i still have water in there so we're good let me fix this real quick oh my god I'm gonna turn this on I probably shouldn't be putting this on the highest heat but I have been doing that because I don't know I've just been doing that but I really haven't been like using that much heat on my hair anymore like I straighten it like once a week every two weeks kind of depends on like when I wash my hair sometimes I'll straighten it have my clip-ins in for like a week and then I wear my hair in a bun for a week and I just use like a bunch of like oils and stuff on my hair and just wear it up for a week and then I wash it. That's kind of what I did. So I allow myself to use it on the highest. And I'm also going to use a heat protector. Ooh. That's loud. 210 Celsius. I'm just going to place it here and let it heat up. Oh, what am I going to use for heat protectant? Mm, I have a few different ones that I could use. I th think I'm going to go in with my Carrot Care Thermal Wonder. Also, I used this product on my hair before I went in with my blow dryer. I've actually really been liking this. Um, oh yeah, that's going to get a little bit loud. Let's put it to the side. That's kind of annoying. 
Anyways, I put this on my hair before I blow dried it. So that actually has really been helping with, because like right now, I I don't know. I don't want to say I'm going natural because I don't want to commit to it. But right now, I've just decided I'm going to stop relaxing my hair for a while. So I have some new growth and I ended up putting this stuff in my hair and blow drying it. And it actually really helps. This shit is so loud. It actually really helps with kind of, oh, there we go, maintaining the, I need to open my window as well. It helps with maintaining the shakiness in my hair and the humidity. And also when I'm like sweating, you know, when you start sweating and your roots like start growing up and it's like, fuck, like I literally don't want to go on it again with a shakener. And this has been really helpful for that. So let me open my window. Basically, what I'm going to do, first I'm just going to spray this all over my hair. And this one, I mean, since I'm putting in extensions, I don't really care if my natural hair is a little bit more greasy or a little bit more weighed down or a bit more shiny or whatever. Like, because I'm wearing the extensions, like, it's kind of nice because it helps the blend. So, I like using this one, but if I'm just straightening my hair and I want to wear it like down I don't like using heat protectants like this because it's kind of like oily almost and it doesn't give your hair that like bouncy feel I feel like but it's okay as you can see my hair is black now I am you know trying to hide all the bounce spots on my head I fucked up my edges by ripping on my extensions and not being careful and I still have a bald spot okay I'm gonna I'm gonna show it I think I'm gonna show it. Maybe I'm gonna edit this out. Bald spot is doing better. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm even gonna put this in, but yeah. She will be covered. I've been wearing a side part and I kinda like it. Yeah, my hair is honestly just super fucked. Like after getting COVID, like my hair was falling out a lot from COVID and then honestly it was just damaged as well. And I was like, yeah, let's just like leave it alone. I really need to get a haircut. I just haven't committed to making a hair appointment i know my hair says probably like girl what the fuck are you doing why have you not yet me back and i'm like girl i can't i'm not ready <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> so yeah anyways i did just want to dye it black because my hair was just like a bunch of different colors um from like dyeing it red and then i dyed it black with like it's like semi-permanent stuff and then it turned kind of green but then it was so damaged that i had to like leave it alone but now i feel like it was like ready like i have some new growth i feel like it's ready to be dyed and honestly it's just gonna be super uneven until it grows out and i definitely am just gonna get like a trim sometime soon to help with the split ends but i think i'm just gonna leave it like i don't do big chops i just can't uh, where's my fucking comb? BRB. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm first just going to steam pot this section because I'm not going to put any clip-ins this close on my neck because all of this hair was like super broken off. So now I'm just like letting it grow back and I pass it like once. Like I really am not trying to get this like sleek, sleek shape. I'm just trying to get it to be pressed out a bit and these like fucking these ones i can never get and they get so curly so i'm just gonna leave it because you're not gonna see it anyways i don't want to fuck them up okay so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna section where i want to put my clip-ins and as i'm like putting them in i'm also like putting a steam pot on my natural hair so that way i'm not like first straightening my hair like i'm straightening it and then clipping in at the same time, which is just the fastest way to do it. Um, and I think it gives me the best results. So after I steam pop this section, I'm gonna put in my first row of clip-ins and they are not in order right now. So I'm gonna have to like section them and then see which ones I'm gonna put where. Cause some of them have like um, layers cut in them and stuff. 
and my clip-ins I get from my hairstylist, but I also have a few clip-ins that I honestly can't even remember the brand. Like, I don't know where the fuck I got these from because they were just in my, um, in my hair, like, container. I had, like, a bunch of random clip-ins, and these were in there, and I needed a few more rows because I felt like the ones I have for my hair size, I love, but it just wasn't enough to, like, fully give me that full head of hair. Like, I would have to get another pack, but I was like, let me see if I have anything. And so I found that, and so I've also added that, but they're definitely different. Like, I prefer the ones from my hairstylist because they're, like, the seamless ones. This is the one that I still had, and then this is the one from, well, this is the one that's not dyed, too, but this is from my hairstylist. So these are, like, super seamless, and they kind of just look like tape-ins, like, when they're in your hair. And then this is the one that I already had, so... I try to put the ones for my hairstylist at the top because it just looks the most seamless. So we're going to do that. But I think this one that I didn't dye, I'm just going to put all the way at the bottom. And next time I get some hair dye, I'll probably dye this. But it's whatever. It's not the biggest deal. It's just kind of like stupid that I totally didn't include that one. And I also like to ooh, tease my roots a little bit, just slightly, just to give it some grip. But I definitely think I need, well actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through this. So right here, I haven't put much yet, but I just kind of need something to cover. But I don't want to put anything here because this usually bothers me, like when it gets stuck on here, like I feel like it pulls. So... I'm gonna avoid that because you can already see like some of this hair is like broken off so i feel like with clip-ins it's like it can t really damage your hair if you're not doing it the right way and if you're not being careful with how you place it and how you brush your hair and i feel like i've really learned that the past few weeks so i still want to continue using them i'm just trying to be smarter and make it healthier for my hair so Go ahead and watch me do this. I'm going to put my headphones in and watch like a crime video or something. I don't know. I look crazy right now. Okay. <laughs> Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Like I know I should Like I know I could just going in and doing a quick little like curl-ish look oh wait one second okay i just had an order come in um i'm just doing where is my section fuck i think it's this yeah i'm just passing the oh my god the steam pot over my extensions one more time just to like blend it all together and give it a little flick at the end. Even though I low-key fried these, these extensions, they 
Oh, looking really good. to do something about that girl let's do the other side i'm so happy i dyed my hair it looks so good i feel like dyeing it black always gives it this like healthy look as well like even though my hair is so fucking damaged because it's like a jet black like it's shiny and it just looks healthy cut that's cut know that if I want to really grow up my hair I should probably start wearing wigs but I just feel like wigs are too high maintenance for me like and if it doesn't look like it's grown from my scalp like I'm gonna be annoyed but it's a fucking wig so it's never like it's always gonna look a little wiggy like even if it's so blended like you're gonna see that's a wig which is normal but that's what I hate you know what I mean oh, I'm frying this right now that's what I hate about wigs and like I'd rather just not like I'd rather damage my hair <laughs> No, I just wanted to like feel like it's my own hair. I feel like with wigs, it just feels too wiggy. And like, for me personally, but wigs, it does give you the ability to like change up the color and really like play around without like messing with your hair. And it's just so good to just wear your hair in cornrows underneath. And like, literally the best way to grow your hair out if you just need to like leave it alone. But I just can't. I can't. I can't. Let's see. We've officially got inches, babes. How cute. I could totally, like, do a little haircut with this, but I'm just scared that I'm going to fuck it up. Like, I don't trust myself to give myself layers, but I would love to have, like, layers in this. You know what I mean? Yes, let's pass it one more time, girl. Like, that's going to do anything. All it's doing is damaging your hair. You go, girl. I hate myself. <sighs> no, I'm fine with this. And then once I'm, like, getting ready, I'll, like, figure out what I'm going to do with it. But we've got hair now. Let's see what the back looks like. Honestly, it looks so good. Like, the back. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I still got it. Okay, lovely. So, what I'm going to do now is, well, I have a call with my manager and a brand in, like, an hour. So, I definitely need to get ready for that. I think I'm going to go on a quick walk with Blue and, like, get myself sorted. I still need to wax my armpits, bro. I was going to do it last night, but then I got lazy and I was like, ugh. I'll do it tomorrow, but now I'm like, I don't feel like doing it right now. So maybe we'll do it tonight. We'll see. Sometime this week, I'm going to wax my pits. And yesterday, I bit off all my nails because they got, like, black hair down in. They looked so rough, and I was, like, filing them, and then I started chewing, and they look really bad right now. But I'm also going to do those sometime this week, maybe today. I don't know. Oh, I want to... There's something I can pop right here. I should do this with Q-tips, but I just want to pop right now. It's not coming out. Um, I'm fucking sweating. Let's turn this one off. That's a good idea. Find my room. I'm so tempted to catch it in this and just burn it. Oh. Imagine, like, <laughs> just frying the fucking hair. Anyways, let me know. Do you like the hair? This is, like, the hair, the type of hair that I've been ha having. What am I saying? This is the type of hair that I've been, like, saving on my... Pinterest board. My Pinterest boards are private, the ones that I've been saving to, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, but I wanted like jet black, like definitely would want more layers, but I wanted it to look like this. So I'm really happy. I'm about to join our meeting. Let's see how this goes. Good. I know. It was a really good 
call. So excited. Yay! And right away, I'm gonna like add this to my Lisa Noah X brand that I'm not gonna say yet. <laughs> I'm excited. That was a really great call. And yeah! Very excited. I mean, honestly, with making content the past like month or so, or month and a half, I haven't been doing too much. And I think it was good for me to take a little break. And now I'm just like excited because there's like new things coming up, new deals that I'm working on. And I just get to be in my element, be creative, do my thing. It feels really good. And whenever I hop on a call like this, it just feels great. And this brand wants to work with me, so I'm super excited. Okay. I bought this cart on Amazon. Ooh, little stickers, which is gonna, I can put my glue on here, my lash glue. That way I can use basically any tray I want, and yeah. I'm excited about this actually. Because I ordered this like probably two weeks ago and it took forever to come. Water dispenser for when I do a lash bath and when I do removals. Um, you want to be able to pop water in here so you can get it on the eye. And I just got a small one, like I don't need a huge one. What is Oh. There we go. I'm gonna like clean this and do all of that. Next up, I got some of these, which I used to put on primer or if I'm doing a removal. Got these two. Um, and I can like use the shampoo and like clean. I think I would probably use this one. It's honestly very cheap and light and like but it's gonna work. It's gonna do its, its job. Just a clear little tweezer holder. 99% alcohol in there so I can like spray and disinfect stuff that I want to disinfect. And it has a little keychain, which is always nice. I want to put some micellar water in here for any girls that come in with makeup. Like little cotton pads and stuff, whatever I want to put in here. I'll decide once I get to the salon with all my stuff, but I thought this was cute. It has a little like, crystal thingy. But love that. Ooh, that should fit in That's nice. They're like the tiny ones. Um, so I got those. It's bigger than I expected, but it's this little tray. I thought this would be cute. I think I want to put like one of these stickers on there so I can put my glue on it and like, I don't know. Just prep for my client, like put everything that I need for my client, like the iPads and everything on there. I'd like to be extra about it. And it looks cute with my car. Oh my god, this is so extra. Hold up, that was kind of dangerous. I got this super big water bottle. I, a lot of times I'll forget to bring my water bottle, so I was like, let me, oh, did it already break? I was like, let me pick up this big ass water bottle. I want stickers. Anyway, it's huge and it has like the times on there. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this and bring it with me tomorrow. And I like that it has like this. I wanted to get a little handheld mirror for my clients after I finish, instead of them going, cause like I always like to take a video if they approve of course after, and then they haven't seen it yet. So I kinda wanna be able to give them a handheld mirror to look before they get up to go to the big one. I thought this one was so cute. so adorable you guys I think I'm just gonna leave it in this until I go back to the salon but I thought it'd be nice it looks nice with my cart and I just wanted to personalize it a little bit and I think it'll look nice in the background as well I got this little foam stand so I don't have to keep bringing mine with me and I can just have ooh, I could just have one sitting on my cart. I think that's nice. 
Oh, and I got some black shoelings. I really, really like this one. It's so cute. I already got damaged a little bit, but I think it'll be nice with the stickers to keep it protected. I'm just put my glue on. But I'm just gonna bite. Yay! And I love this little mirror. Like, the mirror is so cute. Obsessed. Quick little oh oh chitty. Today's gonna be super hot, so I decided to dress up, put on a cute little summer outfit. So I'm wearing these Jack Moves shorts um, that I just kind of rolled up because I don't like the idea of not wearing shorts under skirts. I don't know. The denim skirt is from actually I don't know. This tank top is from Zara Balenciaga bag old necklace like i've had this for years my everyday watch i'm gonna put the name on the screen as well sunglasses i was gonna put the name on the screen i don't know and these slip flops i think i got these from like a uk random like random website but they're a dupe for the something london oh my god literally i'm blanking i'm just gonna put names on the screen but anyways this is my little ootd for today I'm going into the salon at 12 i had some cancellations two clients and i get to enjoy my morning a little bit so that's nice i'm gonna go on a walk with blue i'm so tired i went to bed kind of late i was like playing the sims for a little bit last night just to like wind down it was really nice though and I ended up posting something on my Sims TikTok because I haven't, I mean, I haven't done a Let's Play anymore because I honestly hadn't been playing. Like, I was just busy doing other stuff. Um, so someone asked me in a DM, like, if I'm going to do another Let's Play. Honestly, I would love to, but I'm, right now, I don't know if I will because there's so many things I want to do, but I just can't do it all. Like, it's a bit too much. So I think for now... I'm going to try to like post some stuff on my TikTok just because the short form is a lot easier and it's still really fun to me. Like I think the short form is actually more fun than like doing a Let's Play. I also need to have breakfast, but I'm going to make time. I'm going to make time. Probably after my walk with Blue, I'm going to have breakfast. Because I want to make sure that we get our walk in um, before I leave. And my mom's going to come see him in the afternoon because I'm going to be gone for a while. So. I'll lay you to rest in pieces. No picture on a t-shirt like you never existed i'm done being a victim this my villain era look out i go hard for my heart play with her it go down now you block don't make a sound don't wish you no harm but i hope that no good come around in my space there's no cheaters allowed i gave you my Get started. 
a shark with me. Whew, I'm sweating balls. Whew, let's take this off. It is so hot outside, it's crazy. I literally don't know what you can see, but I put it in 0.5 so it'd be wide. Hopefully it's good. I just posted a TikTok on my Sims talk because I did like um, create a sim last night while I was in bed and I recorded it and I just made like a quick little TikTok out of it. And we'll have my sims talk on the screen or in the description, but I'm waiting for my second client right now. She's gonna arrive any moment. It's another fill. I only have fills today. Um, then I have another one at 12 and then I have a little break and then I have one at 1.30 and then I have a gap like an hour or ish hour ish so I might go to my studio in that gap um I brought my weed with me so I might roll up and chill for a little bit before my last client and then we'll be done for today but I hope you can see me I don't know what you can see but yeah I'm just gonna prep for my second client I'm gonna clean my what's it called tweezers Oh no, I got glue. Ooh, I got glue on my finger. I'm gonna clean my tweezers. Turn off the music real quick because I don't want to get copyrighted. What my she needs, but a surprise. I was checking my emails because my client wasn't here yet, and I was like, let me check and see what appointments we have coming up. And then I saw that she emailed me to cancel, so she ended up canceling, which is fine. So I think I'm just gonna go to my studio for a little bit and chill there until my next client comes and then we'll get back to work. <laughs> She helped me get groceries. We got two carts. Here we go. Kiwi. <laughs> two avocados. Two yogurt. Mango. Oat milk. Cleaning wipes. Frozen blueberries. Frozen peach. And strawberries. Ketchup. Butter. Fanta. More Fanta. And another oat milk, paper towels, muffin mix. I kind of want to make these. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight with pink chocolate. Bagels, watermelon, got eggs. I got apple for blue. Mini pizzas. And my mom got me flowers. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do my pinnies. We have two bouquets of peonies, which is my favorite flower. And I love fresh flowers in my apartment. We're gonna pop this in. Whatever that is. In the meantime, my mom's giving Blue some apple. Yeah, I took my thing. Shaker.
stop eating it with chopsticks that oh, it's so good <laughs> hello Oh, wow. I had such a good facial yesterday. I always get a hydro facial. In the winters, I like to do some like peels and stuff, but in the summer, I'm all about hydro facial. Mm. Cleaning my pores, getting my, my hydration. I love that. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so loud Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show